all right guys so uh before i start this video i just want to tell you guys something very 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 crazy that just happened like a couple hours ago so i don't want to tell the entire story just because it's too long and it's going to take away from the video but um in the apartment building that I'm in right now, a new guy moved in and he's cool. And he's very trustworthy. Uh, but he made a mistake. And he rented himself a two bedroom apartment. And he wanted to get somebody else to come in the apartment with him in the room to rent out a room so he could pay a little bit less. So he found this girl that was interested in it and uh, he he thought that she was trustworthy at first he didn't know her at all before this but he just thought to himself yeah she's trustworthy I'll let her do this and uh, we'll get the deal done so there's a girl that lives in a spot and she's it turns out she's very messed up she gets a ton of people over there's always these weird, 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 weird people going in and out of there all the time. Guys and girls. A ton. And they're all into drugs. They're all into that stuff. And what just happened is crazy. So I came home today from the gym. And I parked at the front of the apartment building where I usually do. And... I just seen a bunch of people going in and out and I got these weird bad vibes. So I got out of my car and I told this guy about it right before I got out of my car and he was away at the time and he wasn't home. And I told him what was going on. And uh, I got out of my car, I started walking towards back and behind where my own spot is personally. I got my own patio, I got my own deck and all that stuff and I got my own spot out back instead of going in front. And um, I took a picture before I knew anything was actually going on. I just had this strong intuition. This go, this just goes to show how crazy spot on my intuition really is. So I took a, a picture of their license plate, the vehicle that was there, and there was actually two of them. But I took a picture of the license plate of one of them, and I kept walking back towards my spot, and there was guys in behind, out back. where my spot was and it was very unusual because it is my own personal spot no one's supposed to be back there and there was people back there and I didn't see them at first but what I did see first was something smoking like there was a bunch of smoke back there and it was coming up towards where where, the, where my door is like on my patio where you walk into my apartment and uh I just seen this bottle sitting on like a tree trunk that's like on the ground. It's like a tree trunk that's just sticking up out of the ground a little bit and there was a bottle sitting on top of it with newspaper inside of it lit on fire and it was just smoking and I was like this this is very weird I don't know what's going on and I just kept staring at the thing and all of a sudden a very weird guy pops up out of nowhere across the side of the building because there's like a building out back where my apartment is it's like a building with a bunch of tools and supply in it and stuff like that and whippersnippers and stuff just to like cut the grass where we are and this guy told me what he was doing he said I'm lighting this right now so it'll like fight off the mosquitoes and there won't be as many mosquitoes around but I found that very weird because I'm just thinking to myself like what like, why are you back there anyways? You don't have to be back there. Why are you worried about the mosquitoes? Like, it made no sense to me. And I knew right then and there something very, very weird was going on. Very weird. So I called my landlord. And, uh... I told him everything that was going on. And he got here in like 10 minutes. And as soon as this guy pulled up, as soon as my landlord pulled up, in his big truck this guy started walking out from where he was behind the building 
like out front where the apartment buildings was and he just like got out of there and my landlord went inside and started talking to some people that was in there and told them look out behind that spot is off limits no one's allowed to go back there it is my personal spot and he said that a lot of people are not allowed to come in here stop the traffic stop with all the people it's not allowed and um after he talked with them, he came down here to where I am, and me and him started chatting, and I told him, and I pointed where that tree trunk was, where the thing that was lit on fire, and we walked back there. And when we walked back there further, we looked to our right, where behind the building was, and there was a street bike back there. There was parts in the ground. There was, like, bed sheets on it. And we knew right then and there, whenever we seen that, they stole that. So, basically guys, what happened is, someone just stole a street bike that was in this apartment building. And, uh, they put it behind there, right where my spot is. Like, they put it right behind the building. It's literally a 10 second walk this way from where I am right now. I can go outside right now, walk down the stairs off my patio, and I walk 10 seconds behind the back air, and I can see behind the building where the bike was. So, me and my landlord, we were just shaking our heads, and we knew exactly what was going on, and we called the cops, and the cops came. My landlord left, I stayed, obviously, because I'm right here, and I was just giving statements for like two hours to the cops, and they called this big truck, they put it on top, took it away, and there was actually a street bike that was reportedly missing a couple days ago in the same area where we are, and that was it. So that's what happened. It was crazy. It was madness. I was just giving statements. I showed the cops a picture of the license plate. Just to take you guys back a second in the story, I took a picture of someone's license plate before I even knew anything was actually going on. That's how strong my intuition is. And I was right. And I gave them the picture. They have it. And we got the job done. I know exactly who did it. I caught them. And they were caught before the cops even were involved or anything. And uh, if it was anybody else, they might have got away with that. Because my spider senses were just on. And I even told the cops this, and I told them I, I should be a part of the FBI, for God's sakes. And they were just laughing. But they started telling me, like, stuff like this happens more than you think. And, uh, yeah. And I, I actually know that myself, too. This stuff ha does happen all the time. It just so happens that it had to happen right where I live today. And it was crazy. And those people were very, very sketchy. This guy was out of it. All drugged up. He, he could barely talk stuttering, mumbling over his words, just, he was messed up. And I told the cops, if anyone like that is anywhere near my apartment building again, I'm going to put my hands on them. And they told me, just don't get yourself in trouble. And I told them, I will borderline do enough not to get myself in trouble. But my hands will be wrapped around their neck, and I will put them down, and they better get away. And if they resist, and they try to fight me, I will elbow their heads into oblivion. And that will be that. So now, let's just talk about the topic of this video. I pretty well just told the entire story. I kind of had to do it. So it made sense. But um, that's just what happened. And if you guys, if you guys want to see the proof, if you guys want to see uh, what had really happened in the pictures, go on my Instagram page right now. My Instagram account will be in the description below. You can go on my Instagram. You can follow me. You can look at my story. And if you view my story on my Instagram, you will see a picture of the bike and the two cops involved in the parts all over the ground. Because these people tried to, like, strip down the bike to make it look like it wasn't the same bike. And it's completely insane what just happened, but it happened. So, anyways, let's just talk about this topic a little bit. Uh, this 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 video is pretty well a two-in-one right here, and 
I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking um, on this topic since I just did a whole other story. But I just want to touch up on it and uh, we're going to talk about gang stalkers and how they watch you like 24-7 because that is what they do. The word gang stalkers in itself speaks for itself, right? Gang stalkers, stalkers, they stalk you, they watch you. Everything you do, every move you make, they are on top of your life. They know more about you than you know about your damn self. They're 24-7 24, 24 on top of you, just waiting, just watching, just ready to do something or say something. Trying to figure you out, trying to do this, trying to do that. They're nosy individuals. And there's nosy people and then there's actually gang stalkers. There's a difference. Nosy people, they're not, they're not harmful. They're not going to do anything. They're just nosy. And not only your business, but other people's as well. Gang stalkers are nosy towards you for all the wrong reasons. They're trying to see what they can get from you to use against you. And um, they try to work against you any way they can. They're, they'll try to find anything and any fault in you to use against you. They want to take you down. They're looking to take you down because they know how powerful that you are. And uh, these individuals will get together. They will talk amongst you. Not amongst you, but they will talk about you with each other. And they're going to try to get any information they can that is possible about you by watching you relentlessly. They'll try to get information out of other people about you so they can figure out more about you. Because that's how, that's how much they want to take you down. That's how much they want to take you out. And it's just... <coughs> it's ridiculous. These people are ridiculous. These narcs are ridiculous. And I've had them in my life. Do I have them right now? I really don't. I've just experienced it and that's why I'm doing a video on it. And of course, a little bit of it happens right now, but I don't feel any threat. I don't feel any harm. People can do whatever they want. They can watch me all they want. You're not going to do nothing, buddy. What are you going to, what are you going to do? nothing and yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of nosy people who like to who like to watch me even in person not not just over social media or anything like this in person as well people act very weird around me because they know they know I'm different they know I move different they know I do things different they just know They can sense certain things and they want to take you down and I find it a little bit funny because they can do whatever they want. They can watch me all they want. They're not going to accomplish anything. They can even trigger me. They can even get under my skin. But they will never figure me out. And to be quite honest, there is nothing to figure out. That's the funny part. There is nothing to figure out. You can figure out all you want, now what? You can figure out all you want, and now what, pal? Now what? Nothing. These people, they're not that smart. They think they're smart. They think, who? Oh, who? Oh, these evil geniuses. Nothing. The only thing it does, it shows a lack of focus in their own lives. They're mad. They're absolutely mad at the world. They're mad at themselves. They're mad at you for succeeding in any way, shape, or form. 
they are mad because you are doing better. And they will never humble themselves. They will never do anything like this. They'll never ask you for anything. They just want to hate. They just want to hate because they ain't great. Having anger towards everyone reaching success is what haters is and it's what it stands for. And it's what they are. Gang stalkers are no different than narcs. They're all in the same category. They all do the same things. They're all pretty damn stupid, I'm not going to lie. Because they are trying to achieve the most scumful things that you could possibly think of. Absolutely nothing. You're focused on other people's lives, trying to figure them out. You're trying to focus on other people's lives, trying to take them down. How far down the barrel are you, buddy? You are spent. It makes absolutely no sense. Like, they get nothing from doing anything they do, or try to do, or try to attempt. They can pull out the most devious types of things. They can do whatever they want to do. It's not going to get them anything. They're not going to get a reward. They're going to get nothing. That's why it's so hilarious. Like, it just makes no sense. But then again, do narcissists make any sense? No, they don't. So, that answers that question. But just know, guys, I'm telling you now, before in this video, the gang stalkers are always watching you. Just let them. Don't try to fight them. Don't try to fight them off. Don't try to do anything. Just, okay, pal. You can watch me all you want. Enjoy it.